When most people go to the doctors, I would say probably over 95% of people we've talked to, they leave very angry when they first get a diagnosis because they're not getting the information that they really need to cope. What they're usually given is a prescription of Aricept and they're told, I'm really sorry, there's not a whole lot you can do. felt by creating a platform where patients are telling us what it's like to live through Alzheimer's disease and we have the researchers who are telling us what they're looking for with this disease, there was a lot of impact in just getting these two sides together. I remember um, while I was at the Wall Street Journal getting a call from my sister telling me my mom had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And I, like so many other people who received this diagnosis for the first time, knew nothing about Alzheimer's. So I turned to Google, um, as so many of us do, and typed in the words Alzheimer's disease. What came at me was a lot of different information, a lot of it contradictory, um, making me more confused. So I started to call researchers around the world. I'd, I'd read a research report and then call them. And what I found was there was a lot of information out there that wasn't in one place. So I was very drawn to the problem, can we rewrite the formula on um, how people get better information on a long-term health condition like Alzheimer's disease? Being Patient has a team of journalists, and that was critical to this formula because journalists are going to delve into this story, we're gonna stay with the story, and present people with the facts. When I go cycling, I leave my dementia at home. It's no longer in control. I become what I was, and not what I am. It disrupts a lot of the brain, but it doesn't disrupt your ability to feel emotion. So it is my hope to sustain quality journalism, employing the journalists who really know the topic, know how to get to the core of the issue and keep people really well informed.